Capricorn. What is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Zero, and I am back at it again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, for the remix to let you guys know what the mid-month energy is for you, August the 15th through the 31st. Shout out to every last one of my babies that clicked this video. Thank you so much for sending your positive love and light and your uh, high vibrational energy on this way. Thank you so much. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Um, if there's anyone that would like to reach out to me, all my contact information is in the about page. My booking page is down right now. We're dealing with some technical difficulties where it's showing no availability for me. I am available for personal and private readings. You can check the uh, booking page out just to look at the list of different type of readings that I do in the pricing. But contact me directly on Instagram or either on Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to download. Only thing you need is my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com again at scorpionreds at gmail.com so you can check out the menu page on my booking page to check out pricing in the reading selections but contact me again directly on instagram which the instagram link is right directly under my booking link on the about page um just send me a message either on their on google hangouts and we'll take care of everything and it'll be good to go from there um you can either send support to the page if these videos resonate. First off, always, if you want to support the page, just click the like button if these videos resonate. Um, like, share, and subscribe as always. If these videos resonate, if you are feel full, uh, feel, oh my God, feel full and feel moved to do more, you can always um, support by uh, the Cash App link or the PayPal link in the description or in the about tab there's also the um, wonderful amazon wish list which you guys have been using to support we have another lovely deck that we will be using today this is the music oracle deck we will be having a music themed oop a music themed reading today so shout out to everyone who has been you know, sending love and support through the Amazon wish list and through the PayPal and through the Cash app. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, again, if you have any questions or concerns about anything, um, you can always just send me a, um, an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Or if there's something that comes out in the reading and you don't feel comfortable with talking about it in the comment section, you guys always email me. Please feel free to email me at any point in time. So, Cappies, let's get into the energy. Let's find out what's been going on and what will be transpiring for the rest of August. All right, so let's get into the reading. Father God, thank you so much for collecting and gathering us all here today. Father God, thank you so much for your graciousness. Thank you for your love, your light, your divinity. And thank you for keeping your firm hand over top of us, Father God. Thank you so much for moving us through these transitions in our life with grace and with dignity. We've been keeping our head held high. We've been moving <laughs> We've been climbing over and moving past mountains that we never thought that we would be able to do before, Father God. And we thank you so much for that strength because there's one thing that you should never, ever do is underestimate a Capricorn, honey. Yes, you better know we got it going on, honey. Yes. Father God, please give us guidance in the name of Jesus. Please continue to move our feet, honey. We move into our own beat and we love making our own music. Yes, we always love making our own music, Father God. It's always best when you do it. So give us guidance. Give us glory because they don't know our story, Father God. Help us reach success and move along in our path because our footsteps have been ordered. Give us guidance. May August, thank you again for all your blessings in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for our Capricorns. May August, thank you again. All right. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? Come on, Caps. Let's find out what's going on. Leave it right there. That card kept wanting every card in the front. It's like you in the front line and you want to stand up so people can see you. It's like, <laughs> can you see what I'm doing now? Can you see how I'm moving now? What is this? Miles Davis. 
It says, play like you don't know how. Progress is impossible without shock. The keynotes are the ones left unplayed. Come on, I told you. It's like you wanted to stand up in the crowd so that people could see you. And you would, and it was like this first card right here just kept standing up. Just kept, like, it didn't matter which one. It just kept standing up like that. It just kept doing that. And that's why I'm like, hold on. You want to stand up so people can hear you, you know? Okay. All right. Miles Davis, play like you don't know how. You see? Dolly Parton. Okay. So we got a masculine and a feminine energy here. So, again, play like you don't know how. Progress is impossible without shock. The keynotes are the ones left unplayed. You have yet to shock the world, baby. Trust and believe. Progress is not even available if you're not ready to shock and amaze, baby. Hold back on some of your glory and the greatness that you are, baby. Don't put everything all out in the streets. We ain't ready to flood the streets yet, baby. The best notes are the, <laughs> the ones we got in our trick bag, baby. Hold on, okay? Because we about to play like we don't even know what the fuck we doing out here. We about to sew up the streets. We about to fuck up the world out here. Dolly Parton. It says, the higher the hills, the closer to heaven. Caution will get you nowhere. <laughs> This is most definitely some Capricorn ass energy here. Throw caution to the wind, honey. The higher the hills, the higher the heaven. It says the most precious diamonds are sometimes disguised as rhinestones. Listen, do you see me now, bitch? Do you understand? Big hair, big titties, big, listen, oh my goodness. Big hair, big titties, big personality, big smile, beautiful rosy cheeks, Red on popping. Do you see me out here? Do you see me? I have yet to shock and amaze y'all. Capricorn, is that what you... Okay, baby. You know what? Let's go. I'm reloading, bitch. Load up the gap. Load it up. Okay? If you stay ready, you ain't got to get motherfucker ready. Hold on. I ain't even trying to connect with shit. Okay, come on. Miles Davis. The talk of the berry, the sweet of the juice. You like, hold on. Look, leave that berry up on the vine. Yet. Don't pick it down yet, honey. Because, ooh, when that junk burst, ooh, it's going to be a taste like you've never experienced in your life. Don't sleep on it. Ooh, about to put that slow creep on it. What is this? Ooh, the high offense. Come on now. You about to show them how to do it. You about to school the masses. Is that what you about to do, Capricorn? You about to show them how to do it, okay? People about to listen to New Emperor. You about to, people about to move to my groove, okay? Huh. Sleep, look, study long, study wrong, okay? Study long, study wrong. I'm here, I got the key, the key, the key, okay? And that's the Four of Wands. Hold on. And the Ace of Swords. And that when I fell, it didn't fall in the reverse. So I'm going to put it how I seen it when it fell on the floor. What is this? The Hierophant. Someone's getting married. Someone's either committing to a new lifestyle, a new healthier, progressive, prosperous lifestyle. It's Ace of Swords. It's like... They feel safe. They feel protected. They know what's best for them. I feel like they've searched the land high and low, you know, in search for this dream house, this dream relationship, this higher lifestyle of living and stuff like that. They've worked hard. That's why I didn't put that in the reverse because when I seen it fall on the floor, it wasn't on the reverse. It felt like this. I feel like they worked hard. They worked hard. They worked hard. But right here, I feel like with this six of wands in the reverse, I feel like I feel like in the past, like Capricorn was all about the attention, was all about the glitz and the glory. And look. Oh my god, okay, because I just I was told to show that. Was all about this. I feel like in the past, 
Capricorn was all about attention, loved the attention. But I think through this new way of thinking, like something's happened in Capricorn where it's like they want to settle down. And I feel like that's what's kind of going to shock everybody. And I don't know, maybe y'all found something or just something. Did all this, all this attention that y'all were wanting back in the day, it, it caused this for a lot of people. It, it caused a lot of broken hearts. And that's why you guys are not pressed about that attention. Because if it's like attention, I get attention from anywhere. Like, attention is nothing to me. Like, y'all are not, y'all worked on yourself enough. It's something about your integrity and your value and your reputation and stuff like that. Like, you're not trying to be known as, like, no attention-seeking, heartbreaker, player. It's like, this Capricorn is... Focused on stability, like stability, like home stability, life stability, like this Capricorn probably slowed down hustling or whatever and just went and got them a nine to five job and shit like that. And they actually doing pretty motherfucker good doing whatever it is that they're doing at their job. They got a nice ass house. Y'all could have just bought y'all a house. Y'all might have found y'all a nice woman or a nice man or something that y'all actually thinking about. Mm, like maybe... Four or five months from now, see how shit is going. If it keep going like this, I shit you might, you might put the ring on it. Like you understand what I'm saying? Because you done seen the world, you done served that, you done surveyed the world, you done had a little bit of everything like this. I'm trying to tell y'all, this is someone who, I mean, you talking about attention. This might be a very very good looking man or a very very good looking woman. Like they done had it. They're not tripping off of that shit. They know. And they done had many women or they done had many suitors approach them before where they know quality. This is quality. This what they got right here is quality. And I think that this is what's going to shock the fucking world that this Capricorn is ready to like slow down and commit. Like that's what I'm getting. Like this is not like because <laughs> you about to play this shit like you don't know how. Like you don't know how. You don't want a whole bunch of attention on y'all in this relationship. Yeah, the tower. Because you know a lot of attention and all that stuff is is is, is going to lead to destruction. Y'all know a whole bunch of attention is going to lead to destruction. You know it without a shadow of a doubt. Yes, you've lost. This two of cups is going to, listen, I feel like whoever this Capricorn is gets a lot of attention. They have to be, I don't know, it, 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 it's something about this Capricorn, like everybody wants this Capricorn. It's something about the amount of attention that they get. It caused chaos in every fucking love relationship where it ends up like, it's the amount of attention that they get. And that's why they don't even trip. They don't even glorify that shit no more. It ain't nothing but a whole bunch of motherfucking trouble. And this Capricorn don't want that shit no more. That shit is hilarious. Listen, they, listen. This partying, that partying, playboy lifestyle and all of that shit like that. All of them bitches and all of that. Ooh, yes. That was it. That was it. Yes. That lifestyle right there. I really do feel like it took a lot for this Capricorn to like release that playboy, that playgirl, that party and lifestyle and stuff like that. What they're on right now, right now, you know, like I said, the higher the heels, the closer to heaven. Look, big, big hair, big smile, fiery red clothes, big tits. Big booty, thick thighs. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen. <laughs> that's what Capricorn, like, like that's what Capricorn, this Capricorn boy. Yes. Like, I don't know, like, this Capricorn might like hot girls or like stripper bitches or something like that or whatever. Or whoever this Capricorn woman is, like, she's voluptuous, she's vivacious, and I, and I don't feel like she... She be out there or nothing like that. But I feel like she has a lot of suitors. You know what I'm saying? And maybe the amount of attention that she gets because of her body causes a lot of chaos and shit 
where the men that she's dating might be insecure because they can't handle the attention that she gets and they and they think that she'd be out there like partying and gallivanting and, and and she's not you know what i'm saying like she's put those days to rest a long time ago a long time ago but caution gets you nowhere you know what i'm saying the most precious diamonds are sometimes disguised as rhinestones so it's like either you gonna judge me from my past or you gonna judge me from my body or because all these i get all this attention and you're not gonna see to the diamond in the rough do you understand and that's the same thing with the male capricorns because it's like don't judge me on my past because i already know look this person has worked on themselves they have it's, they have a sense of value in their self everybody can't have them no more do you understand what i'm saying all that attention and shit ain't you know what i'm saying like they really want to slow down and they want commitment they want they have a sense of value in their life. They just want a regular 9 to 5 job. They ain't trying to be out there hustling in the streets no more. They want to come home to a home cooked meal. You know what I'm saying? To a nice woman. You know what I'm saying? Particularly one with thick thighs and big titties. You know what I'm saying? But they want that at home. You know what I'm saying? Like they can commit to that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like they just want... They just want chill. You know what I'm saying? But I think that this is going to shock everybody to see this, especially this man, Capricorn, to see this man settle down and commit and get a nine to five job and just be on kind of like what they would consider like some square ass shit. Like this shit is going to shock the motherfucking world. <laughs> she going to shock the world. But this is what this person wants though. Like seriously. Uh, look, everybody will be like, nigga, what the fuck you mean? <laughs> What you mean you ain't gonna be out here like this? You ain't coming out with us to the club no more. You ain't about to come. What? You ain't about what? Nigga? And he's gonna be like, listen, the way everything is working out for me, everything is good in my job sector. I'm happy at home. You know, I've been out here in the street enough. I, I don't work listen, I don't worked on myself. I don't produce good fruits out here. Like, I, I'm going up. It's like, why well, rock the boat? Like, I'm I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is going good. And your friend's like, nigga, what? You ain't about to come play? Like, I don't know if, like, this person plays rock and roll in the band or something like that. Like, this person don't want to do the band life no more. Or, like, maybe, like, right after the show, they ain't trying to go hang out and fuck with bitches and shit like that. This day ain't in. Like, this. your friend's like, what? Ain't no way. It's like, yeah. Like, dead ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your man said there is not understanding. They is like, hey nigga, you simping right now. You acting like a whole fucking whooped ass bitch. Okay. Oh my gracious. What is this? Yes, listen. The five of clubs, listen. They try to make a go to rehab. I say the nigga say yes. I'm going to let this bitch talk me to go to rehab. And listen, I done came and met somebody that just made me want to change the way I was like, the way I was moving, the way I was. Listen, I met somebody that changed my world. You know what I'm saying? Someone that I wanted to share my world with that wanted to work with me and I was willing to do everything in my power to do what she wanted me to do because I could see me committing to this person you know and look at her she a rocker just like him it's like I feel like they understand each other's lifestyle or something like that because you see how she all tatted up and everything she like to wear her hair big and everything big personality and stuff like that yeah you know what I'm saying so he like her old tag. Look, look, she got the red on. He likes somebody. He like girls that got red on or something. He liked the color red. He liked the color red with big, long hair. And a thick, nice body. I think that's what he like. And thick lips. Mm-hmm. Both of them got thick, red lips. Ooh, and Diana Ross. Yes, this is another work card. This is like, this girl put him to work. This girl means big business. This girl is Diana Ross, the boss. And I feel like your friends is looking at y'all like, what the fuck? 
because I feel like this person is really putting in a lot of work into oh I cannot talk right now anyway I feel like this person is putting a lot of work in to being a family man, to being a husband and everything like that. And they don't want to cause no problems. They just want the family life. And your friends don't understand. So let's go on over here to this. I don't even know why we doing this. Yeah, this is the Jack of Diamonds. I, I mean, I really do think that this is just you kind of being stone-faced and, like, serious and direct with your friends. Like, listen, every time I hang out with y'all, every, every, I always get into some motherfucking trouble. It's always some chaos with this tower. It's always some shit. I am always get into some shit that I never can fucking prepare for. <laughs> I never can, can fucking prepare for. This is the A of space. Like, this is someone tired and exhausted, really, of kind of like the sex, drugs, and rock and roll lifestyle. I feel like maybe this is probably catching up to them and their health and shit like that. I feel like this person is a smoker, a big-time smoker, big-time smoker. Like, just smokes a lot of weed and possibly just drinks and shit a lot. And they just get older and it's just like, man, listen, my body's starting to catch up with me. Like, I don't know, just someone like, this someone like 28, they ever like 28, 29, ever they mid, ever in their late 20s to mid to late 30s. And it's just like, look, I'm serious. You're looking at these people like, look, I'm serious, like. I'm starting to get older. My body can't handle that shit no more. Not only can my body not handle this shit no more. Nigga, I'm getting tired of this shit. I don't want to do this shit no more. Listen, the nine is space as well. Okay? Do you not understand what I'm trying to explain to you? Every fucking relationship that I've gotten into. Bitches and niggas that I've actually really fucking liked. They always walk away from me because they think I'm talking to all these bitches. That I'm doing all of this shit. That I'm out here partying, drinking, living this sex, drug, and lifetime. Listen, not only did it take me a while. It took me a while to kind of like pay my respects and just, you know... Take a time out from that shit. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm taking time out from this shit, I don't need y'all struggling about my decision to, like, not be out here partying and having it up with y'all no more. Like, why? Why are y'all? Because I feel like I feel like sometimes some sometimes people don't understand that their friends and their colleagues and stuff like that. I don't know. Like, maybe you were the it boy. Maybe you were the leader of the band. Like, maybe everyone comes to see you or something like that. Or whenever y'all go out, like, maybe you're the most attractive guy in the group or the most, most, I mean, these are guys. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like you taking a step back. It ain't going to be that. I don't feel like I feel like it's going to cause an issue with them and, and their ability to get attention. Like if the leader of the, of the group is not there, do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like they're feeling some type of level of shock and heartbrokenness and loss, like a, like a sudden loss. Like what the fuck you mean? Like you choosing up with this bitch, like they're looking at her like she the enemy. Like what the fuck you mean you in love? Like what the fuck you mean? You understand what I'm saying? So let's let's clarify this real quick, cause <laughs> funny as shit, my nigga. The ten of clubs, like I told you, their faces. Listen, you got a whole new ambition, achievement, success in business, social prominence. This card is a card of business and career. It could represent a specific business, or it could denote the idea of business or commerce in a general sense. It's also a card of movement and travel. I told you, you're moving in a different direction of like working a nine to five job. Wanting to get married, you know, kind of calming down this lifestyle that you know that just caused you a bunch of drama. You're working on yourself, you know. It says, um, it can refer to a journey, more specifically a business trip, a business move, such as a major transaction, a business gamble, or an actual change in business ownership or location. It could refer to fluidness, um, fluid assets. This car can denote a trip. A trip that is usually over water. It could also represent a body of water in any type of form, such as 
water pipe, swimming pool, bathtubs, washing machine, or even a kitchen sink. So, like I said, something being washed out, you know, moving over a body of water. Do you understand? Like, these people are shocked. You know what I'm saying? That, I don't know, maybe y'all might be stepping down from the band or something like that. You might be stepping down from leadership of a club or something like that. The five of clubs. The club is action card. It's a card of action and change. A change in a work situation. A change in social standing. It's like I said, you're changing your leadership in a group. Do you understand the club? This, this represents clubs as well. Do you understand like a group of people? People that you hang with. Do you understand? A change in social standing symbolized the five fingers of the hand. Can represent working with one hand or making something. You know, it can also denote exercise, physical labor, providing the extra effort needed to get the job done. Action, physical activity, the need for physical exercise, exercise, competition. This person is looking at this girl, this relationship as competition because it's changing the social status of their group. Do you understand what I'm saying? Their leader is being hypnotized by the she devil. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> Competition, a sporting event. She's competition. A job interview. Good luck. You understand? So because this person changed their once in life, their once in life, like, yeah, that part of their life, that sex, drugs, and all the attention and everything, that was good. But the best note is the one that they ain't play yet. And they feel like the best note is like, them actually settling down and finding commitment and stuff like that. That's the, I feel like that's the one thing. They've searched high and low with this Ace of Swords for something that would give them the true fulfillment and make them happy. And they thought it was this. But I think they realize now after all of this shit is said and done, the best key note in their life is actually finding someone that they can commit to that understands them. This girl's a rocker too. Like they fit each other's lifestyle. They can work together. And this person is willing to do whatever. And she's willing to do whatever for him. But everybody else just don't understand it. This eight of clubs. This eight of clubs represents the day-to-day -day activities. The daily routine. It indicates someone and how they spend their time. They're spending their time with their woman now. You understand what I'm saying? The most... Um, it can represent the job, what someone does for a living. This card can denote working something out. Um, this card is a business and social sharing and uh, reciprocation card. It can indicate conversations, discussions, meeting, a conference, a seminar, a symposium, a forum, a roundtable, a discussion, etc. So I feel like your friends, your friends are going to probably... Have like a round table discussion about this new girl that has come through and that's actually changed your life and how you operate with them. They could be like, who the fuck she thinks she is like the boss or something? She thinks she Diana Ross the boss. And I feel like you see this blues, this, this purple. Like these people need to get to some understanding around the fact that you've changed. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like. They might necessarily think that you a traitor, just how you just kind of switched up on them. The jacket, because you see your, your face. Do you understand? This is the sacral chakra. You are keeping it 100 with them how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you're determined about this to let them notice that Jack of Diamonds is a young person of avil sex, most often a male, an intelligent and energetic, a dynamic person, a student. Okay? Um, the start of a financial business this is a written message a message about finances a financial statement a check a receipt a money transfer a message from your spirit guide a place of higher learning you understand so i feel like this is you guys being spiritually guided and like using your intelligence and being a student of life and like i said you guys know that this is something that's cause chaos and drama in all your relationships before because it is party lifestyle you live in this life like you know what i'm saying like no one is it has something to do with your lifestyle it has something to do with your lifestyle like why you couldn't 
find true happiness and commitment and you know like now that the only thing that really make you happy is you just have a wreck i think you just want like a regular 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 average ass life not all this drama and shit the eight of spades uh, a card of disappointment of illness physical restriction of loss of balance lack of reciprocation unrequited love like this person felt like they could not find someone that they really loved you know what i'm saying like this person searched high and fucking low you know what i'm saying and it's like all the attention they're getting is shit that they really don't want you know what i'm saying <laughs> and when they do find somebody that they like all the attention is driving them crazy because it causes issues and they can't find love do you understand it's just something one-sided um not mutually beneficial physical imbalance a health problem and mental imbalance the doctor a dentist a psychiatrist a wound a pain insult feeling slighted feeling snubbed or hurt this person feels like all of this attention and all of this this lifestyle has been snubbing them in the love department like yeah they could get sex but they ain't getting love do you understand what i'm saying there's no love i still don't see i see marriage and commitment here but and why where the change is coming from but over here was no love do you understand it says um feeling slighted hurt feelings and emotional upset reaccession one's goals examining one's accomplishment investigating or researching a question or a problem a medical exam civic exam scholastic exam forensic of police investigation so yeah it was a lot of drama <laughs> it's a lot of drama with all this shit i feel like their life whoever this capricorn their life is their sex life and their life has been very eventful to say the least in regards to romance I don't see love, but I see romance. The nine in space, traditionally a card is sadness, adversity, failure, suffering, emotional, physical pain, grief, malice. These people feel hurt like I'm serious. It says this is an unfavorable card. It for bodies, tragic events, including accidents, serious injury, serious illness, self-injury, and harm to oneself or another. I hope you and your friends don't get into a fight about this. Anyway, it says feeling pressure or forced to do something. It can indicate a loss of control. Yeah, a breakdown of established patterns. It can represent disappointment or broken heart, karmic debts, obligation, duty to yourself or to others. Like, I, I, I feel I, now I'm feeling like, mm. and your friends, and you see this jealousy here. You see this green. Number one, the purple is the crown chakra. People not having a level of understanding about what you feel is best for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? They don't understand how much drama all of these bitches or whoever, like these little dumb bitches, like they want like a real good woman. You understand? They don't want just... And they might be just jealous of you anyway because of the amount of attention that you're getting. And the fact that you're not coming around to bring the attention to all of them. It could. I feel like y'all need to. Mm, give me guidance. Copy for my Capricorns. Tell me what's going on. What's going on with my Capricorns right here? Give me guidance. I definitely feel like you guys are changing your belief systems. Changing your sense of self-value. And how you working with people and who you work with. Yeah, you being a gentleman now. You all feel real kingly gentleman boss ass shit. You know? What is this? Mountains. Yeah. But there's just some blockages in your life. There's some challenges and delays that's been causing issues. There's been a mountain. There's, there's a big mountain in between... Him getting to the type of woman that he wants. I feel like the type of woman that this man desires is a big ass obstacle. It's like he got to climb over a mountain to reach this woman. And the challenge really is their lifestyle, their environment, what they do for their for a living, 
um, I didn't see like a, a jack of, I didn't see a jack of spades out here. But like a jack of spades is like someone that's like a drug dealer. That's like a gang. You know what I'm saying? Like someone that kind of just lives a, a colorful lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting someone that lives like a sex, drugs, and rock and roll type of lifestyle. Like a party party lifestyle. It has something to do with... Um, or this person could be like an athlete or something like that with these clubs. This person... Ooh. This person could be an athlete. Because clubs definitely represent someone that's athletic. That has a very nice sporty body. And things of that nature. The locket. This person. This person really. like I feel like Capricorn already gets a bad rap any motherfucking way. But this person really has a lot of love to give. And is actually very very romantic. And enjoys being in love really. And I think that that's the thing that's been illuminated. Like they see that now. Like I don't think that Capricorn has actually been in love. In a minute. In a minute. And they just really just want love. Harmony. And just. Lilies is something like they want to grow old. They want something that is going to stand the test of time that is going to be committed. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be there forever. Like, you know, time, like it's time for it. You understand what I'm saying? It's time for it. They have a different standard of life now. They're really trying to separate themselves from the way things used to be like they've been in the crossroads about this shit for a long time and i think that this capricorn maybe last year got to the point where it's like man fuck all this dumb ass shit all this p just stupid shit like i i want to just settle down and just live a normal fucking life like my parents do or who you know what i'm saying like normal motherfuckers do they got a wife they got a nine to five job i ain't gotta be going through all this shit i can just go get me a nine to five job and just live a regular ass lifestyle you know what i'm saying just have a different standard of living and this person has been in a crossroads about if it's time to just kind of settle down and separate themselves for this in a long time. And now they realize it's time for to just end this shit and just put all of this bullshit to rest. And that's what this whole reading is about. The best part of their life, the best note is the one that they haven't played yet. They thought that the best was all it is. And it really wasn't. It was a whole bunch, it was a whole bunch of drama. I mean, it was fun. I mean, they... Now, when it comes down, I mean, I feel like this Capricorn could write a book about. <laughs> this Capricorn could write a book about sex, drugs, and rock and roll and living a rocker's life and playboy or playboy life. Like, yes, yeah, this person could most definitely do it. Like, and I, I feel like this average person was in a band, is like a musician, or this person is like an athlete or something, or like. They're in some type of biker club. They're in some type of like you know like them little Facebook sex groups or something. They in they in they're, they're in something. They're in something where they get a lot of attention and a lot of admiration. And now it's just not even suppression. Yeah, suppression. It's sad. I feel like they don't even be coming around like that no more. Yeah, the miser. The miser. They been holding all that good stuff back. So I don't know if it was been a lot of people that this Capricorn was fucking or something. They might be holding that good dick back. Like, nah, y'all can't. Y'all bitches can't have my good dick no more. Y'all can't. Y'all bitches. Y'all gotta chill out. Y'all can't. <laughs> no bullshit. Like, I'm sorry. Like, this suppression right here. You see how he got this bag over his head and stuff like that. I feel like a lot of people have not been seeing this Capricorn. And they've been holding themselves back. Like, if they used to. Because if, if, if people think Capricorns, they get a bad rap. Capricorns, if they love you, they love you. Like, they will be very generous with their money with you and things like that. You understand? And I feel like. And, and look at this car. Look, you see those. Those like ropes or stuff like that. I feel like all of these people that had roped themselves around this Capricorn. I feel like they're hiding themselves. 
they're suppressed their feelings they're trying to suppress their feelings about something and they're holding something back especially their money especially their money interrogation yeah they're trying to find balance i feel like they're going in this internal interrogation within their self and they don't really want to talk to nobody they really don't want to deal with nobody they don't want to give their self to nobody because they're dealing with the yin and the yang with the falcon and with the what is this the falcon and uh and a swan or something like that postpone and another four all of this is about capricorn's foundations they need to color in the blank they need to fill in the blank they need to color the whole picture all of these people that's been in their life they're not people that they can marry they're not people that they can fill them up all the way so it's like this capricorn is having to like really do some like internal deep diving and hold their self back and stop giving all their jewels to people. Their jewels meaning possibly their private parts, meaning their time, meaning, you know what I'm saying? Not being as giving and as friendly and shit like that to people. And yeah, I got that fire and that beast in me too. You know what I'm saying? Well, everybody I already know what type of beast I am out here. But at the same time, it's like on this moon side, because look, you see that swan is over on that moon side i feel like that swan that sweetness that tenderness that peacefulness that nurturing that part of capricorn that's the part that they hold that falcon you see that eagle that is that firing that fieriness that's what they show to the world on a daily basis do you understand what i'm saying that's why a lot of people are intimidated by capricorn that's why a lot of people are intrigued by capricorn but in the darkness of the moon, they're very sweet people. And they really do want a solid foundation. It's just they got to come to the point where they go through that internal interrogation. You know what I'm saying? Interrogation and stuff. And they look at their integrity and they have to want it. And this Capricorn is ready to put things on pause with that postponement. Because they want it. They're not sharing themselves with just anyone anymore. They're looking for the right one. Do you understand what I'm saying? The right one. The right one. They're not into just sharing their self with everybody anymore. It's about quality, not quantity no more. It's not about being all out with my friends and all this stuff like that. Yeah, that shit is cool, but I've been doing that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we can do that shit forever, but when is that shit going to stop? When is that shit going to slow down? What you think I'm about to be out here just fucking these red ass hoes with y'all forever? Like, what the fuck? You understand what I'm saying? Shit. Mm-mm. Nah. I feel like this person wants to really experience the fruitfulness of their life. Someone that can... They can spend the rest of their life with, like, all of that. They want her. They ain't going to find her doing the shit that they been doing. So that's why shit got to change. And I don't know who this is with all this jealousy and shit like that. But you might need to chill that shit out. Because you know Capricorn will bust you dead in your mouth. Coming with all that fake shit. And I do feel like some of your friends is going to show their true colors. About why they really do hang around you and stuff like that. And y'all probably going to change a lot of that. So this is my singles. It says allow that shit to come to you. Okay. Don't fucking force it. Allow the shit, just, yeah, just chill and allow it to come to you. What is this that flu? It says forgive and let that shit go. It says shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Okay, so I feel like, let me get one more. I feel like there's somebody in y'all past that. You need to forgive and let some shit go. I feel like you really kind of don't care. But you just be on your petty shit at times. You know what I'm saying? And you need to just like forgive that person. And just let that shit. It says you equals tight ass. Loosen up control freak. <laughs> control freaks don't get laid. Like loosen up. I feel like it's something that you taking hella personal. 
something that you're taking hella personal that you need to let go and you being kind of tight about it and it's like you really shouldn't even care i feel like you need to forget that shit and let that shit go because it's you looking kind of tight out here like you give a fuck about something a little bit too much that you shouldn't be giving a fuck about and that's why i say and loosen the fuck up control freaks don't get laid shame regret and guilt those are just bullshit so y'all might be having some type of might be talking shit about somebody like man i should never even fuck with that little rat hole <laughs> i don't know y'all know how y'all be talking shit you know what i'm saying and I, I need you to let that shit go and forgive that shit you know and allow the good shit to come to you you know what i'm saying a lot of good shit to you because the more and more you being tight in your ass about this the more and more you backing this up you know what I'm saying? And just chill and allow shit to come to you naturally. Don't force it. You know what I'm saying? But you got to let this shit go. Like whatever this is, whatever, whoever did, whatever. Whenever, wherever, whatever, baby. <laughs> Nigga, whenever, wherever, whatever, okay? You need to let that shit go, okay? You need to let it go. And allow the good shit to come to you naturally. Give me guidance for my single Capricorns give me guidance mm, flip that oh the nine of spades it's not the nine of spades it's the ten of spades you guys are still mentally like crushed about you you feel like this is a dude feeling like some broad that they were messing with um but I, I really has it has to do with trust I feel like they're watching this person getting fucked by somebody. I it, it, And it's like you can't stop looking at it. You can't stop looking at it. It's like whoever this person is, whoever they're dealing with, either you know this person or this woman is putting it all on out in display or something for you to see and that's what you acting tight in the face about you understand what i'm saying and you feeling really backstabbed and betrayed and butthurt about that shit and at the end of the day i feel like you guys are not together no more this person already like whatever's happened like you already cut this person out with this you know with this king of spades like you crushed her it's like you gave her the dick and then you just cut her out. You understand what I'm saying? Like you're a bachelor. You're a boss in the game. You know what I'm saying? With uh, Pimp C say, I'm a hog in the game. Okay, you a hog in the game. You know? So it's like, I feel like it's like more of a... But I feel like this is the one that... I feel like that is the one that's why you carry on like you do. What's this? The queen, the queen of wands. Yeah, this girl. Like, look at her. He looks at her like she's a slut. She could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, uh, Aries woman. But I feel like the reason, the reason why this man carries on the way that he does is because this Sagittarius. Um, I just heard Aquarius too. This Sagittarius, Aquarius, um, Leo or Aries woman, fire sign woman, or she's just, I feel like she kind of looks like her. You know what I'm saying? Like thick, big butt, big titties, bright eyes, big smile, very friendly, vivacious, sultry. I feel like that's what she was and that's who he loved. And I feel like that is the one that kind of broke his heart because this like maybe she was just out there or something like that and i feel like this is something that he can't get over like mentally it's something that this man can't get over either he's online and he's seeing this person posted multiple pictures like that she's getting fucked by someone or whatever you know what i'm saying and that's why he just slays bitches and just throws them away and just whatever, just the way he does or what. I feel like that's the reason how he kind of got into this lifestyle. But he really wants to slow down and find true love and stuff. But at the same time, you need to stop looking at this person. Because, excuse me, y'all, I draw my cards. I feel like if you, if you 
however it is that you're able to see whatever is going on in this person's life, you need to find a way to block them or put their page on mute or something where you're not able to see it because it's not allowing you to, it's not allowing you to process and heal and get over this shit because it's like, do you see this picture? It's like, this girl be going. Like, I think this man is watching. I don't know if this is his baby mother, his ex-wife or some shit like that. Because that is the king of swords. So this could be someone that he's not with anymore. Someone that he's divorced. And it's like, she just takes her crown off. And she just be servicing. Like, she be out there. Like, that's honestly, like, how he looks at it. And that's why I think that shame, regret, and all that stuff, I feel like that's where that's coming into play. Because it's like, I can't I have, believe I had kids by someone like this. You understand what I'm saying? Like, she's good looking at everything, but she don't have no honor. You understand? Like, she don't have no honor. Um, This king of... this. This queen of wands here. And he do look at her like she's the queen of wands. Like, yeah, she be out here hoeing. You know what I'm saying? And But you got to get over that. You got to get over that. And number one, you need to stop looking at that shit. Toil and labor just kind of popped out right here. It's like hard work. I feel like it is... Number one, you be having to work really hard. Give me more guidance about love for this single Sagittarius. I mean... Ain't no motherfucking Sagittarius <laughs> for this single goddamn Capricorn. No, I'm serious. This girl has to be a Sagittarius. Courthouse. Oh, yeah, this is someone that you're going to have to take the court. Like, you're going through a whole bunch of drama in court with this person because you moved on. Oh. So you going through a whole bunch of drama with this person. Y'all broke up. Y'all broke up. And I feel like this person is intentionally like flaunting all of these people that she's with. And that she's servicing and shit like that online and stuff like that. Because you decided to change and move on. You know what I'm saying? Like you moved on and like this person is like trying to... <laughs> trying to railroad you a little bit yeah unexpected income and yeah this person is about to take you to court for all your money i feel like this is child support or something because you moved on and y'all didn't want to be and you didn't want to be with this person you didn't want to be with this person and it's like you're going to work and you're having to damn it kill yourself like working two or three jobs because this person is taking you to court because you didn't want to move with them you didn't want to be with them you know what i'm saying like you didn't y'all might have had kids with each other or whatever but this person like you this person still got this energy like this energy was still there like i just mm -mm. you rather be single and just slay bitches and just do whatever you were doing like the one that you love was just, just vicious. I feel like y'all definitely had a child and now this person took you to court because they want you, any little dollar, any little penny you get, she wanted. She wanted. She wanted. She wanted. And that, that could be another reason why y'all might have slowed down a lot of your lifestyle because I feel like this lifestyle right here fueled the fire to that. It fueled that fire. I feel like that's the reason why this woman is doing this is because like you didn't slow down and choose her, but she was out there doing whatever. Like it, it's crazy. I'm sorry. Like that whole situation is crazy. But it says freedom. It says there's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Freedom. So it's like you have freedom and love. It's like you just gonna have to work hard and just keep moving forward. You know you're gonna have to pay this. You know you gonna have to pay this person. But you you're free. I mean you're free to go. You're free to love. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do right here. But you're going to have to stop worrying about this person. Because I feel like this person is doing this shit intentionally 
to get back at you and they know that you're going to act because they know that you're looking and they know that you're going to react you understand what i'm saying even this person taking you to court and doing all of this shit like this all of this shit is just being petty and that's why you're hiding your money what is this saying what is this the knight of pentacles yes it's like financial freedom like at the end of the day your work what you're doing in this work you getting this nine to five like you're doing pretty fucking good like in regards to your business like even your band i feel like i either you have a band like you have a nine to five job and you have whatever it is that you do with this band or whatever you do with this group or whatever but you're just having to downsize it a little bit because you kind of chilling it out because, number one, you don't want this motherfucker all in your pocket because every little money that you get, this person think that you out there gallivanting, throwing that shit at bitches, and this person wants to take it. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're financially successful and everything like that. But I feel like everything is going on up and up for you. And here go this Queen of Swords. Lord have mercy. This Queen of Swords card blow me every fucking time. My girl got a girlfriend. I feel like... I feel like, oh my God. What is this? The Eight of Pentacles. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. <laughs> I feel like financially things are on the up and up for you. I feel like it's really a time to celebrate. And you're the king of swords. Your counterpart right here is the queen of swords. I feel like you still be on your sex, drugs, and rock and roll shit. I feel, I feel like the type of girl that you want and that you want to marry. It's kind of like you and is adventurous, sexually adventurous, Um, has a mind of her own, has her own things going for her you understand what i'm saying like i definitely feel like there has to be a level of sexual <laughs> like you like this woman has to both of you guys have to have a level of like sexual freedom or being sexually adventurous and knowing who you are sexually is something about that that kind of turned you on like i said look at her she's a rocker too tattoos big hair big person you know what i'm saying i feel like it's something about this girl and just she's wow sexy and free she listen he want to work shit out with her like he want to work shit out with this one like no bullshit and not only that i feel like he motivates her to get money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're both very smart. Like, they're both very, very, very smart. And one thing I think with that sword energy, like, they know how to read people and they know how to... Mm, they know how to manipulate people and put people in their pocket to their will and stuff like that. And she got him in the pocket and he got her in the pocket and he's willing to change for her she's willing to change for him i feel like both of them had to change lifestyles like maybe she was a lesbian and shit like that before she met him you know what i'm saying like my girl got a girlfriend you know what i'm saying and shit he had a whole bunch of bitches and was living you know what i'm saying and like to and they put it both together they like man me and you together yeah we good like i'm willing to slow down and all of this shit and like Cause I feel like deep down and stuff like she just be playing around and she's sexually free and stuff like that. But deep down she wants marriage and she wants a commitment just to, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, let me go to the couples. Cause like, I don't got all into that story y'all. I was so sorry. Cause I thought this video just got long as fuck trying to do that. Cause I was like, oh, hold on. I need more information. I need more information. Oh my goodness. But there's definitely, um, a level of jealousy there it's a level of jealousy on both ends because someone from their past is throwing their sexual triumphs in the other person's face but you can easily just block that shit so you don't see it so you don't react to it and the reason why this person is doing that shit because they want you to fucking react to it and you're giving them you're giving it to them you understand what i'm saying and don't you be petty and be posting pictures with the new person that you with just to make them 
um upset neither if you post and people do it let this shit happen naturally just like it said for the couples it says get the hell out of town it will make you both lovable again pack your bags all right y'all need to get on out of the damn town okay get on out of town Let's see what's you know take a vacation I don't even want to be in no I'm a grown ass woman. Like, I ain't got no time for no drama, no stress, no sweat. I just want to get some good dick, eat some good food, okay? Lay up real comfortable and travel the motherfucking world and smoke some good weed and drink some good wine. Like, come on. Like, that, like I, I don't got time for the fucking shit. It says homemade food is foreplay. Cook a fucking meal, okay? I feel like y'all need to get out of town, get y'all a little villa, you know? Ooh, it says play like it. It says you're on the same team. Play like it. I want you guys to go out of town, by the beach, get y'all a little villa, go and get y'all some lobster and some and, and some and all of that stuff like that and all y'all good shit. I want y'all to get out of town and both of y'all be in the kitchen together and cook together. Like cook. Make your meal together. Eat with each other. Eat each other. Like, for real, I want y'all to get out of town. Then after that shit, go take y'all some wine. Go roll y'all a J. Go get y'all a blanket. Go sit out by the beach. Watch the sunset. Go smoke y'all some weed. Sit out there, get fucked up, and just talk about shit. And you know what I'm saying? Just be love and just, like, talk about the next vacation. And, you know, I want y'all to, like, get away from y'all day to day, which y'all see every day. To, ooh, okay. Oh, the two of swords. Oh, Lord. You got on a mask. I feel like, ooh. This two of swords right here, I feel like you guys have been in the crossroads. I feel like y'all have been in a point of no return where y'all possibly like on a verge of breaking up. I feel like both of you guys have been wearing masks with each other. Um, I feel like this right here, what I'm seeing is like a fantasy here. This is the five of swords in the reverse. I feel like y'all are just ready to stop the... Because this shit is going to get to the point of no return if you guys don't kind of come to a compromise and if you guys don't see, don't take the mask off with each other and see things. And here go another fucking sword. Here go the page of swords. It's like you guys, you've been, you've been watching each other's moves. You've been. <sighs> Number one. I feel like someone feels like someone has someone else. They feel like time has been stolen. They're out of patience. They're tired of feeling like they're being played with. They've been searching. Trying to figure out what's going on because someone's been wearing a mask with them. You know what I'm saying? I don't see a lot of love here. What is this? The Six of Wands. This person just wants. This person just wants some action at home. This person just wants. Excuse me. This person to come home and feel wanted and feel needed. They want some attention at home. And it's like. I don't think this person knows for sure if this person is cheating or not. But they've just been in this crossroads where they don't know if they want to be with each other or not. Because it's feel like. Even when they having sex with each other, it's just like, where you, it's like this person is holding itself back from, it's like, the, it's weird. It's weird. It's like, they won't look at you in their eyes or like y'all won't, like maybe back in the day when y'all used to have sex, y'all used to have intense sex and look at each other in his eyes. It's like, maybe this person be walking around and don't look in, don't look at you in your eyes or some shit. And you just like. Nah, like, this five of swords, it's like, this is the point of no return. Like, shit is really about to get ugly. It's like, ever y'all come to some type of agreement, motherfucker, stop walking around, not speaking their truth, not able to come to some firm decision about if y'all want to be with each other or not. 
it's like either y'all gonna make up or everything or all hell is about to break loose. You understand what I'm saying? This person has been searching and trying to investigate and trying to find out what's going on, what you're feeling. But I just don't. I, I, I feel like this person isn't getting anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like this person really has any proof of any cheating or anything. They just feel like this person is, has a mask on in their house. They just want some attention at home. They just want to be recognized. They just want to feel loved. They just want to feel admired in their house. And I feel like there's no attention at home. And that's why they just like, maybe you just need to take a vacation. You know what I'm saying? I'll start cooking. You know what I'm saying? We in this together. We need to act like it. What is this? The seven of wands in the reverse. I feel like there's a lot of nagging, there's a lot of arguing, there's a lot of fussing and fighting and confusion. And this person is tired of it. Like they're tired of this woman screaming and, and arguing and, and bickering. It's like a lot of, you know, and I, I, I am seeing a level of. I mean, I'm just saying, I just I, I just don't like the look on this car. You know what I'm saying? But I really feel it's like someone just wanting someone to stop, just shut up and stop argue, arguing and fussing about. You don't show me no attention. You don't give me no sex. The four of, it's a lot of swords. It's a lot of swords. It's a lot of swords. I feel like it's like if you want me to shut up, I'm not going. Look, it's like you see her. She's serious. Like she's she's withdrawn herself from this person. It's like if you want me to shut up and if you want me to lighten up and come out of this, you know what I'm saying? way that I am with you if this is what you want then you need to show me the money you understand what I'm saying I need you to stop holding yourself back and give yourself to me sexually like you know what I'm saying show me give me time give me commitment give 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 me you understand what I'm saying the sun in the reverse and the devil the world yeah it's like this woman isn't happy this woman isn't happy she's not getting any attention at home she she feels like there's some shit being hidden that she's not able to see like maybe you have like another commitment somewhere like there's a full blown affair going on somewhere else she feels bound to you you know what I'm saying like as much as she, I feel like it's almost painful, this relationship. You see what I'm saying? Like, even when y'all be having sex, it's painful. Like, this person doesn't enjoy it. They, do, they don't enjoy it. They don't enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is a toxic commitment. Like, this person is, like, stalking, investigating, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Like, they... They don't know what their world is like without them being in this situation. But they're at the same time, it's like they're not fucking happy. But it's like the stagnation. Like they can't figure out how to, you know what I'm saying, move on. And it's like they would rather just take a vacation and try to take a step outside of the world that they're in to be in another world together where it's just them two. To see if they can play on the same team. Because if we can take a vacation. If we can get along. Maybe we can bring some of that energy back home. You understand what I'm saying? And we can figure out a way to communicate better. And try to work on things or something like that. But I feel like this is painful like for someone. Like This is almost painful. Thoughts, courtship, thoughts, courtship. It's like 
I'm just thinking if we just start, let's just go out on a date like we used to when we was younger and just like kind of start all over. Like when's the last time we've been out on a date? You know what I'm saying? When the last time we bought each other gifts and spent time and spent money on each other and did shit. You know what I'm saying? Like only thing we do is argue and what is this? Official person. And yeah, I feel like this person is having, yeah, hot honor. So this person is just like, all of this really has to do with attention being given at home. This person has been searching and trying to figure out if this person is cheating on them or not. They just know that they're not happy and they can't see their world without them, regardless of how painful it is. Um, I definitely feel like there is some level of cheating or something going on. But whoever this is, it's just thinking if we just go out with each other, spend some time with each other, let me treat you like a king false person uh -uh. false person gonna get in the way it's like you, you you're gonna try to want to do all of this shit but this person is not gonna go like I'm sorry it's just like this person has such high hopes for if we just play nice with each other, we just go out, we just do this, and we just, you know what I'm saying? As painful as it is, like, this person is not giving you any attention and not having sex with you. Like, you're stalking and trying to figure out what's going on. I mean, like, this shit is, like, deep. It's, like, no matter how much you try to put this person on high, high regards, you try to treat this person on a high pedestal. It's like you gonna get what you asking for with the situation. It's like, and that's right on top of this false love, the tower, and then the lack of attention too, and then the four swords. Wasn't this the four swords in the reverse? Yeah, someone that needs a little bit more time to heal, and it's like. This situation is dead and it's gone. And you know what I'm saying? This person is retreated from you. You need to get your mind wrapped around this and you need to pay your respects to it and just move on. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's right after the three of swords. You understand? The situation is dead. It's done. You know? How does this person feel towards the Capricorn? It says, am I good enough for you? The person dealing with the Capricorn doesn't know... If they're good enough for you. It says I feel too much pressure right now. Okay. How does Capricorn feel? Shit. It says I know I made a huge mistake. This is Capricorn. It says I just got caught up in the moment. Okay. Maybe Capricorn was the one cheating. It says I'm trying to take responsibilities for my actions now. Please know this. Wow. Oh, Dios mijo. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get a love card and then we up out of here, y'all. Give me guidance. It says twin flames. Your passion ignites. Y'all know I don't believe in that twin flame bullshit. I do not believe in that twin flame bullshit. That is toxic. I would not wish this bullshit on no fucking body. Do not sit there and allow a term of twin fucking flame for you to allow and you sit back and let someone treat you like bullshit. If they don't love you now, they're never going to love you. And that's something that you need to receive and understand. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up. Straight the fuck up. It don't matter how many gifts you give this person. It don't matter how many vacations. If someone don't love you, they just don't fucking love you. Love yourself enough to move on. The keynote is the ones that is left unplayed. You understand? If this shit don't work right here, something else will work for you. 
change your standards and how you're working and you're dealing with people and commit yourself to yourself love yourself and that'll open up the door to commitment and stuff like that if you searched high and low and you've tried every motherfucking thing that you could do to make this shit work and you to the point where you're wondering if you're good enough and you feel like there's too much pressure on you you search high and low what you need to search is within yourself and focus on working on yourself Stop trying to give yourself to a situation that ain't giving back to you. Capricorn, I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all, okay? Y'all continue to do your damn thing. And if you want to change, continue to change because you want to change the motherfucking world. Because I told y'all Capricorn's taking over. I'm out.